Hi Claire, welcome back to Water Week and to the Water Cube here. Can, would you mind introducing yourself and showing us your name badge? Sure, I am Claire Wormerball. I work for the IUCN Water Program in mm -hmm. the field of communications and this is my badge. Wonderful, thank you. And you are the communication officer for the Water Program at IUCN. Um, how has it been this week to share about IUCN's work for you? It's been a very busy week. Uh, we've been uh, very busy promoting our work and sharing lessons learned from the IUCN Water and Nature Initiative. The main part of our work uh, has been shared through case studies and briefings, a website and videos and um, a results report, which were all launched on Monday. This was at a side event, which was very well attended, so we were glad that went very well. And these are excellent platforms to kind of share uh, our work that we've done in the past and make sure that it gets uh, replicated or used by other water resource managers mm -hmm. around the world, of which there are many here at this moment, so it's a great opportunity. Great. And how, has it, how have the events been going for you this week, the events you've been attending or been leading? They've been going very, very well. We've had a very uh, uh, busy few days with all our colleagues, including from the regions, uh, attending several sessions and speaking and presenting. Today we had a little bit of a glitch at some point, which was uh, very uh, interesting how and challenging how it turned out, but I think uh, in the end it worked out very well. Which Tell us more about that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> basically we had uh, a presentation to do uh, in a particular format, which is called the I have to check now, the Pecha Kucha style. Okay, which is Wait, a, what does that mean? Yeah, it's a, it's a style where you present in a certain amount of time, visuals, so slides with more photos, mm -hmm. then sort of when you talk, they kind of illustrate what you're saying, so it attracts people's attention more, and you keep to a limited time. So basically the presentations don't get too long, or drawn, or boring. And uh, we were supposed to have our director there, but he had to attend another business seminar. So basically, uh, we could not present the presentation online because of a wireless technical issue. So I was thrown into the, uh, the deep end by having to present it at the very last minute, but wow. it went very well in the end. That's and good to hear. I well think, done. <laughs> yeah, sometimes these type of things that maybe don't go exactly right in the beginning turn out for uh, the better because you learn from mm -hmm. uh, things, you learn from making mistakes or from things that go wrong and then uh, we had a very, in the end, very good feedback. So it's it good was, to hear. Uh, it was <laughs> With all the thing. advancements in communication, uh, sometimes it's difficult to keep up and it's good to go back to the traditional way of just doing it. Exactly. A person with their piece of paper and their notes. <laughs> exactly, yes, and, and it turned out to be very, uh, it was an interesting experience and it all went well in the end. And Wonderful. So, and it's a great place here also because a lot of people are very welcoming or very um, understanding, understanding mm -hmm. to what's going on and everyone understands the certain stresses and pressures that people can be under but in the end uh, it's a good community of people to be working most. So. Well it's good to have you here too. Thank you for taking some time to share with us your experiences. It's pleasure. Good.